Good day, everyone. Today's video is on how to use the Near Table tool in ArcGIS Pro. With it, I have crime data in front of us as points, and I have the street center line file below. Oftentimes, depending on where you're grabbing the data from, if you've geocoded or just downloaded it with coordinates, if I were to zoom in, you'll see that our crime data actually has an offset from the street center line. And depending on the type of analysis you want to do, you might want to count of violent incidents per street segment. And to do that, you can actually just change the XY coordinates. There's other ways to do it, but I like to get into how to move the crime data itself. So we can use the generate near table to our benefit here and go through that process. So if I'm in the analysis tab, still have the default ones here. I'm going to generate a near table. What I'm going to ask ArcGIS Pro to do is put in my crime points and then find the nearest coordinate on the street centerline file. It's going to generate a table for me. I want it in US feet. I actually want the location, so that's going to give me coordinates in the output table. In distance unit, I want to keep that in feet just so I'm aware of how offset it was. And we're going to probably see differences across the file. Click run, and it's going to bring up a standalone table for us. And I'm going to open this up just so we can see what all is in it. We have the NFID, so that is our input data, that is our crime data. And each one of those has a unique identifier, the FID. That corresponds with our FID in our original crime file. So you can always merge this data back in. So if you wanted the incident temporal characteristics, weapon use, if it was specifically an ag assault or homicide, you can bring all of that back in. Near FID, similar is the street. So you can bring in the street, how far off from that street it was, the original X and Y coordinates for that crime, and then nearest X and Y coordinate that puts it on the street segment itself. So with this, we can use this near X and Y to display our data now. Similar to what we've done in other videos, I'm gonna right click on this table, hop up to display X, Y data, and it auto defaults to from X, from Y in our world geographic system, our WGS. These are ones we're gonna to have to change. So we want this to be near, and we want this field here to be near Y. So we have X and Y, and knowing the crime data and how I have it geocode is actually in the state plane, so I can do other analyses with it. So I need to make sure it's set to the current map, which is truly our state plane coordinate system rather than our some other files we have in here. With that, I'm gonna click OK. Let this run, it's gonna generate those points for us. And as I zoom in now, you can see these purple dots have moved over onto that street center line, which then allows us to do a if you want to get into a join, you can add in the count of violent incidents per street segment since it does intersect it now. With that, if there's any questions, feel free to reach out. Until next time, take care.